All right, we, we, we started up quickly. Whoa, what was that? What was that little glimpse? <laughs> anyway, Nicholas Mark, hello, I see folks in already. Bella Box had a pretty cool update. I can actually now broadcast a little hotspot from my backpack um, <laughs> that I'm pushing onto my stream phone now. I didn't get the Wi-Fi module in yet. That should be coming in today. Anyway, Victoria, everything Tech Talk Pro, which is a, uh, like a Wemu, or a team, was it Timu? That the one? Version of everything Apple Pro. Morning, and Florian, hello. Spencer, Travis, Gerard, Allen. Oh. Lynn and Graham, hello. Stefan, back on YouTube. Good afternoon. I think it might actually rain now. I don't know that it was actually originally going to rain today, last I checked the weather. I don't have any particular plans. I think there's a Greek Independence Day parade today. Uh, that's a bit north of here, but I don't know. Should I go north or south? Let's, let's, let's base that on a poll. Are we going north or south today? Jerome, Christina, Doomsday on Twitch. Hello, Molly Chamber, Tyree. Got it, everything's a sock pro. I'm assuming you have a TikTok channel too, then. Murray or account channel? What do they call that? Fairy Elephant says south. Vito Barrios says south. Christina G wonders where I am. I'm on 34th and 3rd at the moment. I see a lot more for south than north. We have to be somewhat democratic. <laughs> Abby, hi. Yes, I do remember your, your name. I remember thinking something similar the first time I saw it, so it's, it, it does uh, ring some, some bells of memory there. Um, all right, well, it sounds like I got more votes for south than north, so I guess we're going to do that. Let me cross the street first. I'm curious to see if... Uh, if using the chat phone, I should be using, you know, download more than upload on this phone, right? Maybe we'll go to Lexington and go south. Or maybe we can go a little more west before we go south. I don't know. No, I feel like we don't always go from 34th down. We'll see if it rains. I only have a small umbrella with me today. There's the weather. Oh, I don't know what I just feel. I don't know. Oh no, I do feel a couple of drops. Today's Sunday. There's a couple of things I do need. I still need a a, a newer mic. I think I need two micro SD cards actually, because somehow I bricked the one in my 360 camera. Hide all the pause. Hello. And I still need one for the action four. But I don't know. Yeah, I am feeling a couple of droplets. Will I be able to reach my umbrella from this thing? Maybe. If I pull some severe internal rotation on my shoulders. Anyway, there's um, Utopia Bagels. They're out in, I think, like Whitestone, Queens, actually. But some, some place rated them number one bagel shop in New York. All that's very subjective, of course, as you know. But... We'll see how they are when they open up here. Do I park buy cards from Amazon? SD cards? Yeah, sometimes. I know other there's like there's a concern sometimes buying from Amazon that they could be fake or whatever. Usually if it's sold by Amazon at least I feel less like sold from and shipped by Amazon, I feel less concerned, but B and H probably even more. Uh, safe, I guess. I don't know. Tonnage on my shoulder, PT's intense. They might send you to OT for your shoulder. 
but yeah, you gotta you gotta get all your stabilization in in your in your limbs, which actually starts with the core. You gotta get the core going. It's not me once. Everything bagel with chive and onion cream cheese. That's good, Gerard. Hopefully we'll see. So nobody wants to see the Greek Independence Day Parade then. Well, let me know if you change your mind. I mean, I don't know that we'll be able to get into the 60s that fast, but we can try. Steve Parker, hello. I think we're like on at a weird hour for most of our viewers because I think people usually expect me to be on super early in the morning or maybe like an early evening, less so early afternoon kind of a thing. Or we can go up towards Park Avenue. Let's do that. And then go south. If we still want us to go south. I could do intermittent uh, poles like that. Just whatever they are. I wonder if that um, the Korean Cultural Center is fully open now. I see a security guard there. Looks like they might have some art exhibits. It took them a while to build that place. Edgar, hello. When are they charging pedestrians for walking below 61st? Well, I mean, we're not getting, you know, we're not going to get a direct fine. Or fine, not fine, but charge. But, you know, all these things will impact us. The people who think, you know, just because they're pedestrians and not going to get impacted by it. That's not true. Oh, I actually don't have my wallet. Oh, well. I have my press pass, though. I always forget something, right? I mean, I don't really need my wallet, I guess. But I can't pay with NFC on my phone. I have to use my watch. Let's see if that... All right, that is working. Yeah, that should work. Moon. Hello. Simeon Dzhnov. Wonders if it's cold. It's not at all. It's a bit cloudy, so maybe... A Decepticon. Deceitfully warm, based on how you're looking. Omar Chi says, NYC looking great and it's already spring. Well, isn't spring known for rain and showers? Wouldn't the gray clouds be part of that? I think it's all right, David. It's fine. It's because I, I didn't, I wore my jacket early today because it was like less than 50 when I first left the house or something like or near it anyway. anyway. And then uh, I changed out to shorts and a vest. Donna, hello. Looks like we're waiting pretty much until this light's gonna fully change, I think. Yeah, people are upset that they have to wait so long to get across. Oh no, we were able to get across without waiting for the whole light. Biggs Walk Sean is here. People told me to go south. I know north is the Greek Independence Day Parade. But I don't I don't know if you would swing the vote. Does your vote carry more weight? Hmm. So we're going south instead of north. At the moment. On Park Avenue. I, I always feel like I found the right uh, website to, uh, to see what free outdoor events there are in New York for a particular day, but I usually gauge it based on if, um, if things I know are happening show up on that list. Like if there's a list that has um, the Greek Independence Day Parade, Bagel Street, then I know that's a good one to look at because at least they list it. Because the other ones are like, a lot of times are like advertisements for, uh, for shows and things. They just want you to, oh yeah, of course you get to go see Book of Mormon. Donna says, speed up, let's go. It's opposite day. Yeah, I do see a couple of droplets, but hopefully the, the rain is minimal. Yesterday ended up being more annoying than than I expected it to be. We were hoping to spend some time in Central Park. 
but uh, the weather wasn't ideal. I, is there something going on here too? Because it seems like there's a lot of car traffic. Maybe we should go a little more west before we go south, but I don't know. Like, is anything happening on Fifth Avenue? Rare hello. 65 is a good temperature for NYC. Maybe we'll go more west. I don't know. You had to cut your walk short in Central Park to the wind. Yeah, it was very windy. It was just not a fun day to be outside with a kid. Mega million, zero dollars. I'm going to play right now. Is that true? What is the actual Mega Millions right now? Like, what's the minimum it can ever be, actually, after somebody wins? It still can't be that low, right? All right, I'm going to go a little more west. There's not much going on in Park Avenue. Yeah, so instead we went to that children's museum on, like, West 83rd Street. Which was, um, that was good. It was definitely a zoo in there. And uh, if your kid's not already in a daycare or some other Petri dish experiment, you know, you're probably going to get okay. something new from that place if you bring your kid there. Especially on a rainy, chilly day. A gust actually pushed your stroller over? I don't know your stroller is made out of straw. Ron has made it in. Eventually, I guess, despite notification issues. Oh, a package just came in. It might be the um, the Wi-Fi module. Even though I'm using that little USB stick. Big Zwak, Sean. So the chat phone is currently on Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, I got some stamps from Baby Commuter. Self-checkout Whole Foods on my left. Rocky the Squid letting us know the next estimated jackpot, 148 million. Actually, should we be going south? We're about to be going south tomorrow. Anybody want to change their mind about the direction we're going? BJM, hello. Nothing being as exciting as the Easter parade. Well, I don't know. I don't know. No, you can't can't make such final statements like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my umbrella to hold it. Oh man, they're going right into a psychic with a uh, with, with their luggage. I go southwest. That's exactly where we're gonna be going tomorrow. Well, the reverse of it. The reverse of it. Oh, what was that yelling? Kappa. I think this place changed branding. It's, it's still a coffee shop, but it was something different before. I forget what. The Dominique Ansel workshop is here. With stroller parking dedicated. Ooh. Is this the secret place to get a cronut without having to wait too long? Big as long, Sean? Are you sure you want to go out there now, Big as long, Sean? The, uh... The weather is starting to shape up to be a little, a little like yesterday now. Oh boy. It's warmer though, definitely warmer than yesterday. Yesterday I felt like the temperature was going down as the day progressed. Robert T, hello. Hoshisora saying maybe there's some cherry blossom things. Well, are the cherry blossoms in the west portion of the reservoir in Central Park, have they done their thing yet? Because last time we were there was on Wednesday. It's been five days now, and they were already starting. Is that a... No, it's an old Mercedes over there. You kind of stretch your legs. Just put on your weight vest and do some squats. And put the kid on your shoulders, too. Add some weight. Steven Dallas, hello. All right, I still haven't pulled out my umbrella, but I probably do want to keep it a little bit closer. <sighs> what is that thing? That thing is called Bug. All right, hold on.
If I can show you in a mirror what I look like, no, let me show you in one of these windows. I don't know if you can see, like, I got my arm completely. Oh, here we go, I got it out! I had to rotate my left arm behind my backpack, in between my backpack and my back, to pull it out of the side pocket on my right side, because I don't think I would have been able to contort my right arm to do that. <laughs> People enjoyed that little car? Nice. Tony, hello. Ben, hello. Here's Broadway. I don't know, it's like the rain is... is just slightly threatening right now, I don't know. It may come, it may not. We'll see. Oh, I feel a little more now. It's like it just doesn't know if it wants to start or not. Hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna go more west. I'm trying to make my decision. Oh, there's no more, no more car traffic beyond uh, 27th Street. Yeah, I feel it more now. All right, let me open this just because my camera is not the uh, friendly one to water. It's my Grand Central umbrella. To, I know, the weather is not right. The weather is very finicky right now. Changes out of nowhere. There's an Equinox over here. Where are we? 26th Street or something? Is that a newer Equinox? Not that it matters, but it's that pomegranate mouth thing is a little weird. Jim Barrows, hello. Charlotte, hello. Not raining in Queens. Well, I'm not taking any chances with my equipment, so I got my umbrella out. We should just go to B&H and buy stuff now. <laughs> Can't. We gotta be careful. Not raining in Queens. So I don't know which way the weather patterns are moving. If anybody wants to look at the radar, they can see what's happening. But right now, we got this. Well, let's see. If I go to my other app and I open the radar, what's it gonna say? button. Let's see. How long will it take to load up? Oh, it's moving kind of south. Southeast. But it seems like it should clear out by 3.30. All great. Yeah, the rain's picking up now. I hope the wind is uh, not too bad. I don't have my good umbrella. Just because I thought I'd just take a small one, you know, because it'll be a uh, it'll be a light day of whatever. But it seems like that was wrong. Nangman Barbecue. Hmm. I wonder what the uh, origin of this place is. Yeah. Central New York, Corner Park Avenue, getting buckets of rain. Yeah, I think the radar kind of looked like that too. Yeah, it's a big, big green blob <laughs> up there. All right, see, this is a matte black S500. Too bad. It's like a light rain. Not wearing the right shoes for it, but whatever. Kasim, hello. Miss M is here for the not so good singing. Welcome. You haven't heard of my opera yet then. That's my best out of all the singing types. Oh, I hear myself now that it's quiet. Michael, 
Hi. Right. Love letters from New York in this place. This is the Wilson. What is this actually, though? That's the food place. What is the hotel? Inside or something? I don't know. They have a nice little indoor-outdoor uh, setup, though. Albert Brun, glad you're enjoying. Well, this good to e-bike. Is it so good though with the with the um with the rain? I guess they'll go get there faster, but I tried to leave my starting soon screen in the background on a little longer just to see if there were a different song would play for you guys. Planet Fitness. Looks very wow, they got machine like I didn't realize Planet Fitness has like machines like as soon as you walk through the door. Usually there's a little bit of a a threshold or something, right? Like, you could jump right from the front desk onto a bike, like, less than five feet away. Amazing. All right, this seems like the rain is calming down again. Another Volvo. Where's Gert? I guess we're right by FIT now. Fashion is through the technology. I mean, looking south, you see, that's where it's clear, because the... This weather band is coming from the northwest, it seems. Oh yeah, Kasim, absolutely, yeah. This is the weather improves. And the e-bikes will help when it gets too warm, that way you don't have to sweat so much. Well, I mean, the, the bike lane is like right there. And he's dodging traffic on the sidewalk. Impressive, you know? All right, can I... Yeah. Amazon's always delivering. Did I see Moon's question? Oh. Uh, oh, 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 the Saunter uh, time lapse. No, I pulled that music all from the free YouTube library. Yeah, that was all just free. <laughs> free stuff that's available. I didn't bother making new ones. I'm working on it, though. I started doing more Fruity Loops or FL Studios they want to be called now. I guess they're taking things more seriously now. Yeah, right, Kasim? I mean, uh, the pedestrian shouldn't be having to dodge things. Plus, you can't, like, expect the pedestrian to not suddenly change direction. It's not like other vehicles on the road where they should be using turn signals or whatnot. But no, pedestrian, they... They don't have to signal anybody. They can just make turn around, go left. They may want to in case they walk into other people, but I don't know. It's just a, it's a recipe. <laughs> it's not very good. The horn was me. <laughs> Sorry. Let me close this umbrella so that it's ready. Ron, it was close. Paris, hello. Have I thought about e-biking? Ah, not really. I'm going to probably stick to walking and then the subway if I need to go somewhere far. Uh, the rain's starting to pick up again. Oh, is it a little dim sum place? Not super busy. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this rain because I got the, the pocket. So I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that anymore. I've already upset it enough as it is. Sweet potatoes and grilled fig glaze salmon. Charlotte's making a tasty sounding feast. If I cross forward, where will that lead me? Oh, this building is completely. Wait a second.
Which building was this? This wasn't the one that had like a McDonald's right there, was it? And like a tennis center? Does anybody remember? That wasn't this one, was it? I didn't realize they were tearing all that down, if that is. Anybody know? Have I given up on the Action 4? I think for now I have. I, I guess the Infinity Focus will be... Isn't UAG Urban Armor gear? Hmm. Not, yeah, I haven't given up fully yet, but I don't know... when I'll incorporate it again. I don't know. It's the equipment that concerns me. It was, and it was a food importance. Okay, so they did tear down this whole thing. It looks like they're putting down a big building. They got a big footprint. Oh, she sore remembers everything. Sharon, glad you're enjoying. Strawberry Fields is here. We, for those tuning in, I know there are things going on in the city like the Greek Independence Day Parade, but I took a brief poll in the beginning and I was told to go south. The majority voted. If anybody wants to sway the vote at this point, let me know. But good to see you again. The kid just made it to the park, hopefully the rain remains minimal at worst. Yeah, things are always changing, Casino. That's the, uh, that's the key. That's the constant change. Yes, yes. Indubitably. Man, this is an inconvenient lamppost on the sidewalk. It's like right in the middle. They even had to extend the sidewalk a little bit because of the way this uh, building juts out and the sidewalk has been tiny. Oh, that McDonald's had a play area? Oh, man. The play place? I missed those. I, I, that, that's, that would have been a good place for Ravy Commuter to go yesterday. Remember those days? She would have been so happy with a Happy Meal and gets to play inside a McDonald's play place. But we don't have that anymore, do we? Where is the closest? Is there any in Manhattan now with a play place? McDonald's? Do those even exist anymore? Maxim, привет. Hello. Kasim will be visiting Central Park later. I mean, this all should be temporary. Hopefully, everything improves later. Oh, should I cross here? It'll be a little rushed, but we can do it. The good thing about this little umbrella is I guess you can't really tell so easily in the, uh, in the view of the camera. Yes, the Petri dish. I mean, it couldn't have been any worse than the Children's Museum we went to yesterday in West 83rd. <laughs> it was nice, like a little place, an indoor place to go on a kind of a crummy outdoor day. Kasim has ridden 60 miles to Central Park. What is that singing behind me? I don't know. There's a Jeep Wrangler with a ticket though. you're saying Titanic. <laughs> Play places, buffets, cruises. Oh my. COVID-2, here we come. The sequel. Bruh, dobry dzień, hello. Glad you're enjoying. It was probably a bat that ate a remote, and then somebody ate the bat. That's science. I 
That's a pile of dookie. I mean, Hoshi Store sounds like it was a fun place. I miss them. Are there any, do we answer the question, are there any left in Manhattan? Probably not. Can you, like, does McDonald's search have that feature on their website where you could, like, tick off what, uh, what you're looking for in a McDonald's? Looks like a bullet bill or something from Mario. Huh. There's a weird high-pitched sound I hear. All right, how's the... There's the High Line. I don't know. Do we go there? Do we still keep going south? Grand Central Umbrella. What? What? McDonald's or Burger King? Hmm. I've always been a McDonald's person. Clown on premises? Yes. Uh, things I would like to see real-time data on from McDonald's is the uh, um, McFlurry machine. Is that working? <laughs> I'd like to know. I know it's a 2% chance of it working, but sometimes you win that lottery, you know? Muhammad, hello. I guess we're going to go up to the high line. The handle on this is so tiny. And I have to. Oh. Ah, here we go. Oh, this, these stairs need a rework. The McFlurry machine is a social construct. I got a lot of a lot of plants in that window. I think I'm take doing a photo shoot up a little higher. Still go south. Eunice, yes, and I actually got this at the Grand Central uh, gift shop. Well, the Transit Museum shop, one of those. I don't remember what it was. The one inside Grand Central Terminal. Lawrence, bonjour. Because we, we ended up, so we started going to the Highland a lot in recent times. I mean, I kind of miss those creepy Burger King commercials. close the uh I don't know if they put it. I think there is a slightly newer artwork up ahead that I don't remember seeing too frequently but it is getting greener that's for sure hmm. I think that up ahead is newer artwork. We have seen it before though. I just do think it's newer though. By Julia Cenci. C N C I from Italy. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'll give you another glimpse of it. Had likes looking into the rich folks' apartments. Yeah, I mean, if they're keeping their their uh, the curtains open, I, mean, I don't know. People are going to look in all directions, so yeah, expect to be seen. For no reason but attention. 
Albert, probably less of a hellhole than your house. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I mean, if, if you're very pleasant to be around, I don't know yet. <laughs> to be decided. Shaka Sella, hello. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna get through here. It seems like they're spreading out more and more. All right, here we go. Does the R change off? And they usually keep it up for quite a while. Sometimes, you know, six to 12 months, if not longer. But they do rotate it. I don't know when they'll rotate that one. Like that's been there for a while. Highline Frogger. Yeah, we don't see this when we come here at the crack of dawn. With the, uh, the dodging. TL, happy Sunday. Ready. Jacqueline Dallamal, hello. Welcome to the High Line, west side of Manhattan. Kind of goes through Hudson Yards, Chelsea, ends in the meatpacking district. Oh, did I miss? I think it says thank you, darling, on that big mural on the wall. Apologies, I walked by it too late to read your message in time. Yeah. Some birch looking trees. My toe's feeling a little better now, probably because the swelling has come down a little bit. Which is just in time too, because my ankle is starting to feel funny because of the way I started walking to avoid my toe. But I think I'm walking normally again. That was my chance. That was my only chance. Uh, no more McDonald's with an indoor play place left in the city. That's too bad. It is a filter on their website. See, okay. They, I forgot to tell you, they did hire me for consulting work for their UX, um, UI. I'm kidding. I was... I'm not normal. Well, I'll agree with that. Liver and onions. I know. I know about the Greek Independence Day Parade, but I took a brief poll in the beginning of the stream, said if I should go north or south. I got a lot more south than north. So we went south. Even though we're gonna be going, well, we're going south to north tomorrow. Who says that? I guess I did. Oh, this place usually has their curtains all the way up. But not today. And they took down the little thing that says exposed NYC. Oh no, they moved it to another window. There it is. XPOSED.NYC. If anybody's curious what this is, that's their uh, that's their website. X-P-O-S-E-D, that NYC. Other filters, Wi-Fi, gift cards, drive-through. Oh, drive-through, yeah, that would be another filter. There's like probably one or two in Manhattan, probably in the Upper East Side, Harlem maybe. That's right, Ron, you don't wanna, you don't wanna poke your eyes with a bunch of dull pencils. Maybe they should. Oh, tax cab. Hello. I got my microphone in my pocket if you need to pull it out. And my press pass in my other pocket. I'm ready. Or if you wait long enough and I see enough people riding bikes on the sidewalks, I'll get grumpy for you. 
Do you need a press pass to film? No. Press pass helps you get behind police lines and barricades at events if it's safe or deemed safe by police at the time. Otherwise, it doesn't let you get into any kind of paid, paid events very easily. Like anything at the Javits Center, it doesn't really matter if you have a press pass or not. You gotta apply for press stuff for each event, from what I see. I submitted my, my application for the Anime NYC press pass, or pro badge, sorry, not press badge. I put the pro, I think the pro badge is gonna be an easier thing to get than the press badge, but we'll see. I read Paul wonders what are normal people. I don't know, probably some social construct definition. Can I sense the population decreasing? Like a day to day, there's no, there's been never such a drastic change in people in the city than COVID. Like the, that first few months, especially when there was the, uh, the stay at home mandate, was it? I did have to come out for work, not for this, but we kept we kept doing our little streams. But yeah, well, I kept I just kept doing my recorded videos. I mean, you could see some of those on my channel. Like, and now every time we hear these news articles, there's nothing that I'm sensing, anecdotally. But it is what it is. Yeah, we just we just passed by the place that I fell. But it's not me. We should be mourning. It's the High Line's damage that I've done. Unfortunately, the great saunter done today would be quite different than when I did it because of all that work on the east side. Fabi9 on Twitch, first time viewer, welcome. First time chat from a viewer. I hope that jazz isn't copyrighted. Do I know is Miles Street? I don't. But if you're wondering who I'm chatting with most of the time, we're actually mainly on YouTube, but I've expanded my simultaneous streaming to more places. There's a bathroom in there. Is that like an event space? Hmm. Lee, hello. D Cesar, hello. Yeah, the sun's coming out. That's nice. Okay. I think we have to go down the stairs here to go into the other area because they're working on this in the front. stuck. What else have I missed? Oh, we got some glitching here. What's going on? Wow. Am I going to Coney Island this year? Well, we haven't gone for a stream in the lifetime of this channel, so I guess the odds are low, but not completely zero. Caught something crazy? Hmm. Maybe not super crazy. We did run into a pro run into a protest the other day, but I wouldn't say that's crazy. Let me check my Bella box. Uh, see what things look like. Well, the website's not loading, so that's not good. That doesn't make any sense. And I should be on the Bella box local Wi-Fi too. That's weird. Hmm. No, all the uh, all the phones seem to be connected, but the bitrate is quite bad on all of them. Wow, what's going on? Not sure. Wow. What is happening? Oh well. I guess the High Line does get a little jammed up when we're uh, yeah. Low bike rate. Got to improve your bikes. Google is giving some money. Makes sense. Fidei waterfront. Well, if we can make it down there, you can make it anywhere now. <laughs> It'll probably uh, increase temperature a little bit now after the sun's out. Absolutely, taxi. Dutch Moz is out in Coney Island all the time. OG New York City live streamer. and has much more of an encyclopedic knowledge of New York and its history. As opposed to whatever I tell you, which is, well, there's a tree. 
it could be some variety. That's a cool arch. I think Mr. Clean's on the other side. Mark's gonna catch a fish. Am I going to Coachella? No, I am not. Is Mr. Clean still here? Yes, he is. Jen Claus, hello. Happy Sunday. Man, I, I specifically haven't had any fluids since like 11.30. And I've peed like twice since then. And I may have to pee again. So if I go by the waterfront uh, on the Hudson, maybe I'll... I'll have to pause to uh, use the facilities. We'll see. and the steps in front. I don't know why. As an April Fool's, I would love to release a walking commuter branded catheter, but like actually have the product go out for a limited time. I still listen to metal music. I still like it, but I feel like I haven't been listening to as much recently. So if you have any recommendations, feel free, Jeez. Feel free to throw them out at me. Whitney. Well, their uh, Frenchette Bakery is actually pretty popping at the moment. It's been a while since I have, but I have before, bruh. Momo had, I know you've been here long enough to know we dodged that question. Like a margarita strawberry feels? Ooh, is that uh, Charlotte's recipe? Yo, all of a sudden, the weather has changed. In our favor. Wee -wee -wee. It's the good weather siren or whatever. I don't know. Atarva, hello. Personal stuff for Naked Cowboy. I also do all the fluffing for him of his uh, uh, goods. Oh yeah, keep it like recycle it, right? Have the camelback backpack and have it fed by the camel cat. I think you're onto something. Strawberry fields, exactly as you would interpret that is what I meant. My light should be changing. It's yellow, red. Should be changing. Yep, there it is. And there's the beach in front of us. We actually haven't been to this beach during any nicer weather and not crack of dawn time, so let's see. Oh. I wanted to witness a bike actually having to yield to us. <laughs> but I'm not going to stand in there just to wait for that. Here's the beach. Official name was the Gansevoort Peninsula Sand Bluff.
Yeah, it's, it took them quite a bit of sand to dump in here to get this thing uh, up and running. Daniel's already drunk. Well, if you're if you're already beyond that level, send me some of your residual extra stuff. Margarita, preferably. Ooh, a shack. Let me in. Oh, there's a guy in there. Do people swim in the Hudson? Uh, voluntarily? I don't know. I'm gonna say no. I mean, I think they have, like, free kayaking in the summers, but, again, I, I don't think you actually want to be swimming in it. In the distance, you can't see the Statue of Liberty. Freedom Tower south of us. North of us, the uh, FDNY has a little water station here. Shamley, Welcome. Why do I feel vibration on my on my chest? Is this gimbal freaking out? I hope not. Canistio Valley cichlids. Dumpster diver. Yeah, maybe. Have they... What is that? Oh, it's a helicopter over us. But I can't look at it. It's right in the sun. All right. Um, I don't think... Without walking in the sand, I only can get out of here. Over the, oh, maybe I can. Let me see. No, I don't think so. I'll have to go back. It's a couple of geese, though. I mean, it's still kind of nice. You get a few wave sounds while he's sitting in his beach in Manhattan. Four people rescued from an overturned boat in the East River, like, right now? I should go to Central Park. Well, I was thinking about going north, but people overruled. They said go south. So we went south. All right, let's continue our way down south on the, on the Hudson River. And uh, if any bathrooms seem to make themselves available to us, we will take that opportunity. Yeah, Charlotte, things turned around. Let's see if it goes back again. But I think based on what I saw on the, on the radar, once that little blob of green passed us, we wouldn't see any more. Uh, at least for the duration of our stream anyway. We'll see. The East River Walkway? The East River Walkway sucks. At least compared to the West Side. Especially all the construction. It's like always under some sort of work. If it's not the actual greenway being reconstructed, it's something else happened, like that hospital HSS is, is building over there. That's going to interrupt the walkway for like a couple of years. I don't know. And I, I prefer the east side, so I will defend the east side as much as I can, but I can't, I can't defend that walkway ah, along the East River. Jen, they're all good. Mrs. Commuter's mom came in to see the baby. And before she came in, I took, I spent the entire morning with baby commuter from 6 a.m. onwards. Now she got up pretty early. It's like, it's more decent, but again, the FDR is like right there. There are no food shops, really. And like to get anywhere, like if you cross the East River to get back into the city, there's like nothing there. At least here you got the village and some restaurants and other things, but I don't know. I feel like there's still some work to be done on the east side. And I want it. I, I still want to stay on the east side. It really does struggle. It deserves better. I agree. Daniel, glad you're enjoying. Always construction, still a ton of damaged sections. Yeah, and it's just not continuous. That's also super annoying. Like, they built out that big one dead-end extension near the UN in the 30s, and that's it. You have to, like, turn around. Hey, that's a G-shirt. I wonder if he works for Google. All right, I think that building up ahead may have bathrooms, so I may go on a brief pause to utilize the facilities. Like, trust me, I want the east side to win. 
All right, let's see if um. Oh man, my my thing is disconnected. Okay, so let's make sure I reset my OBS. Save and test connection. All right. Okay, we're gonna go on a BRB screen while I use the bathroom. Oh, Siggy, I probably shouldn't. All right, one second. I'll be back in a. Okay, yes, if someone's, someone was asking if this is AI generated, it is. That was an AI generated image. Actually, is this coming back or not? It should be coming back. Yeah, there it is. Hold on a second, let me see if I can... Let's see, is this wire going to be long enough to let me do this? I'm going to try something. I'm gonna put the umbrella back in my uh, my backpack side pocket. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. Okay. Back over. Gosh, it's backpack straps keeping them short so it's kind of a pain in the tuchus. All right, we adjust my vest. There we go. Get my phone back out. I drank some toilet water so hopefully that takes care of it. All right, we're running for uh, for leadership of the city, biggest Wong Shan. The wind is really, really pushing. Give me your thumbs. Aubrey on kick, hello. Everything's AI generated now, me included. Was that me in the image? Nope, that was AI generated. Daniel, it was raining like 15 minutes ago. Bob Kelly unsubbed him or got unsubbed by YouTube from all your channels. I don't know what happened there, but I wouldn't be surprised with how YouTube reminds people these days. Jenna Panetto, hello. Yikes. Mr. Big Daz, hello. Now, the person in the BRB screen now was completely fully AI generated image.
Man, do, uh, let me know if I need to pull out my other microphone. This wind is kind of unrelenting. It brings you back. Slow twitch muscle on Twitch says YouTube is a Masonic cabal. Masonic. Have I been to the Standard Hotel, the one right over the High Line? No, you walked under it a bunch of times. Never been in there. Moon with a five dollar hydration super chat. Thank you, Moon, for your generous support of my kidneys. They do suffer quite frequently. I'm teaching them who's the boss. And it's not Tony Danza, it's Charles in Charge, Scott Bayo. But thank you, Moon. Appreciate it. Rohit, hello. You, you, you want to see the press pass? Here. There it is. The thumb strategically positioned. <laughs> Summer's coming. Summer's coming. Let's see what the weather looks like for the rest of the week. 70 today, 74 tomorrow, 71 on Tuesday, 60 on Wednesday, 53 on Thursday. Oh, things are going back in the wrong direction again. That seems to be the coldest day of the week, though. We'll see. Things could always change, too. That's still like four or five days away, right? You need my kidneys healthy? Well, if you become completely, you know, stage four or five uh, CKD, chronic kidney disease, you, um, you may become what they call an anuric and no longer produce urine but then you do require dialysis three times a week. So it's not a winning situation. Or end stage renal disease, they also call it. But anyway, it's the eclipse again. It's the earthquakes and eclipse and the super cicada birthing coming soon. Oh, I don't know, have we gone? Big Zonk, Sean, do you recall if we ever, if we tried to tackle Brookfield with, with three of our, our triple phone setup? That's perfect for the Sancho, though. I guess so. I mean, I, I'd, I think I'd rather use my cath <laughs> a catheter. Well, that's the funny thing about the Eclipse for me. Like, people in the olden times... They wouldn't even know the eclipse is coming or happening in most places, right? Even that 90% eclipse, we barely even... Like, if we didn't know an eclipse was happening, you would have just thought it was like a cloudy day or something. And now we can predict them, you know, how many thousands of years in the future now, whatever they want, really. They can calculate out everything based on the paths of all our local celestial bodies. Anyway, let's see. I have to read some of these Ode to Kidneys. Courtesy of Biggs Walk Sean and GPT. Ooh, that's bouncy. People are running on this thing. Feels a little bouncy. Uh, let's see. Oh, kidney vital, filter of life, balancing fluids, removing strife. A oh, bean shaped wonder. We rely. Toxins eliminator. Oh, so sly. My goodness. In our bodies, you work tirelessly. Oh, kidney, we cherish thee. I think I'm going to end it myself. Did we get another one? Oh, really, Biggs Walk Sean? Ah, oh, Staten Island Governors. Yeah, I'm still upset we didn't go to Governors Island that one time for the uh, Easter event stuff. Is there anything going on there now? I don't think I have time to do that. And if we do have to go to Staten Island, I don't know if I can dedicate our full, like, I think it would be like an hour and a half, right? Because we got to get off, got to walk around a little bit, and then go back. Six to eight times per day. I think I'm on the lower end of that, if not outside the range. Do I drink or not, like, adult beverages? I've been known to have a few. Everything in moderation. Well, not, not everything, everything, but you know what I mean. Why do Brits make pie out of kidney? Why not? It's probably better to... If you're, if you're gonna eat something from another animal, you might as, you might as well use everything, right? In Russia, even here, you know, we grew up on a lot of these interesting items too. Pig's feet, cow tongue, all that kind of stuff. 
liver was always being served of various preparations. H? Nope. Lani, yes, that's uh, in the other direction. That's north of us. We, yeah. I took an informal poll, very official, and people said go south, so I went south. Ah, sorry to hear, Ziggy. Yeah, you never know, you know, things, especially I'm wary about some of the medications that do get perhaps overprescribed at times. But um, yeah, sometimes when you need them, you need them. I hit a camel back. Well, then I actually have to drink water and then I have to pee. I think we have one at home because uh, Mrs. Commuter is an avid hiker and camper. I like hiking a lot. I could do without the camping. Uh, I would love to hike like 30, 40 miles in a day, but then return to a nice bed to sleep. I think that's reasonable, right? I don't have to lay on the floor in the woods to, uh, <laughs> to be satisfied. I like, I like the, ex the exertion part. And then I would prefer some modern comforts. <laughs> but that's just me. RJ's here. Hey, people eat brains too, that's right. People and zombies. <laughs> but I love hiking. I like exerting myself. I like like going up the side of the mountain quickly. Really try to see how how much I can go before I really have to stop and breathe. I think we could have gone around the the, the buildings here, but I don't know how far. Anyway, I guess we're gonna keep walking south because we haven't been down in the southern bits of Manhattan in a long time. I forgot if there's any cherry blossom things to see over there. But they are working a lot of stuff here. See, the west side just keeps getting improvements. What do we get? I don't even know. The Momo Head's dog, Chevy, likes watching the stream. And glad you're enjoying it. And Chevy. Watches like a human. I do like when, when animals <laughs> sit like humans. What shoes for hiking? I forget what I have. I have something. Oh, Ovis, is that right? Is that a hiking thing? I think it's Ovis. Does that also mean like cow or something? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Go sit around a campfire and tell me stories. I am who they fear. Oh, there's a big soccer field in there. Ha! Huh. Pier 40 athletic fields over here. Uh, just disconnected from my live stream chat temporarily, it seems, but otherwise, it seems like it's still going strong. The uh, chat phone connection, I mean. Daniel, have a good night. Take care of yourself. My favorite sports car? I don't even know if I have one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What's the River Project wet lab? Is that like a thing you could take kids to? It's a research aquarium at the Pier 40 South Walkway. Is that over here? Is that over here? Yeah, the wet lab is this way. Wait, what can you do there? <clears throat> I'm kind of intrigued, hold on. Anybody know about this wet lab research thing? That particular thing, I believe that's one of the like exhausts for the tunnel to Jersey, but that's the that one little pier was the one Casey Neistat did a lot of his filming on when he did a lot more of his daily vlogs. I'm still surprised that I'm able to point things relatively accurately without even knowing where I'm pointing.
wet lab is a euphemism for bar. I think this one is an actual uh, research facility though. I think, based on how it was presented. Hey, you fishing. All right, I don't know where this, this seems like it just goes to the soccer field still. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if my service will hold up anything either. Research into martinis? I mean, I'm, I'm down for that too. community boathouse here. That's cool. But I'm curious in this wet lab. Maybe it's all part of the same thing. Oh, it's all part of the same thing. I think I think it's closed. But here's the boathouse. I don't really understand how this works, but I guess they do have boats launching and whatnot here. Uh, where do those people go that, that I saw going this way? Because I don't... Anyway, it seems like the wet lab is closed. Can anybody look up the wet lab? Cynthia Beal is here. Million Shell. River ecosystem. Wasn't there something about like a, a billion oysters being released into the waters around New York or something like that? Or am I just misremembering things? Oh, I guess this does wrap around. Well, I'm not going to wrap around fully. I am curious though, because I've never really walked this way. Do we do this during the saunter? Oh, wow. Oh man, if we didn't do this during the Sansa, we might have cheated. <laughs> anyway. I'll, I'll probably just try to Google it myself too, let's see. Oh, why is my max bit rate? Wait a second. Because I'm walking around, for some reason my max bit rate is set to like 9,000. What happened here? Hold on a second. We're using way too much juice. Oh, wait. How'd that happen? Megs Walk Sean, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm looking things up here. Hold on. Oh man, this is pretty cool. They got a 3,500 gallon flow through aquarium system with a dozen tanks that host Hudson River fish, striped bass, black sea bass, oyster toadfish. What does that look like? Wait, why isn't it open? It doesn't say when it's open. Anyone? Anyone know? It is a thing to do with kids? Oh man, so I gotta, like, I need it to be open. Because if we can't be going all this way and then it's closed, that's, that would be, that would suck. Is it me or does the Jenga building from this angle, doesn't, doesn't look good. I don't know, I think it's just me. Was it really a billion oysters? I thought I was exaggerating. Daniel's in a different state of mind or something. Oh, it's open in... Oh, it opens closer to the summer? I missed that. Wet lab opens in June. Okay, very cool. Okay. June. One of a kind. Doom, 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 doom. One of a kind. Where's Brian? What can Daniel win? I don't know. One free trip to the wet lab. <laughs> but only when it's closed. Ooh, an Earth Day celebration. At the wet lab, Strawberry Fields, or somewhere else? Right there at the, uh, at the exhaust to the tunnel. Holland Tunnel. 
on the tunnel. Why are there all these? There's all these street closures in Jersey City. Huh. I don't know what's going on there. Tennis court. It's one on two. Ooh, at the wet lab. Okay, that's kind of cool. Maybe there'll be. Maybe that's. I might bring that up with Mrs. What day? What's uh? What's this Saturday? Okay, no, it's not the weekend that I'm away. I'm still hoping to be able to stream at the place that I show up on the following weekend. Uh, we'll see though. I'm gonna try to bring all my usual equipment, and if I'm able to get it on a plane without any trouble, it'll be a good test. Yes, Monetize Aubrey on kick is saying there's a Greek Independence Day parade. Yeah, that's north of us. We, we did a quick poll in the beginning, and people said to go south instead of north. To see the parade, we'd have to go north, but we went south. Yes, Strawberry Field, it sounds like we will. Anyway, Casey Neistat lives in New York again. It would be nice to see him at, at the uh, at the pier here. But no. If anything, he would probably just be running by. Tiana Lewis, hello. I'll be able to stream if I drink enough water. That's a stream, all right. <laughs> yeah, the wind is not set. Let me know if I should try going to the external microphone with the windscreen. Or if we're okay still like this. My chat phone has been behaving nicely though with my hotspot for my backpack. We passed by Pier 40. I don't know if that Holland Tunnel exhaust thing uh, counts as a separate pier. I'm sure it does. Got to be pre-hydrated for the wet lab. You got to pre-game. <laughs> I feel like you'll never see this many people along the East River either. Daniel, enjoy. Get some rest. Fiddler's Green, I don't know about that. Jason Freeman wants a Lincoln Tunnel walk, which is the which is the tunnel they got stuck in in that movie. What's the name of that movie again? The Lincoln or the Holland Tunnel? Oh, my vest is getting. Too flopped open here. Loomis, hello. Aubrey's dog jumped in the creek and he had a wet lab. Ah, a very literal. Strawberry Fields avoids those movies. Is this just a section of roller coaster that went unused? Ah, the movie was originally called Sylvester Gets Stuck. Was it um, scored by, gosh, what was his name? Alan Silvestri? And made by the same directors of Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. On the Dreamless, like walking the Verrazano. Yeah, it would be nice if somebody can get me into the uh, marathon. Why can't my press pass get me beyond the, ba beyond the barricade of the marathon? Of the marathon? Of the marathon? Is there no way to do that? always issuing important reminders. Teller. Yeah, 
with the sun out, it got significantly warmer. Just run the marathon. Well, I tried getting the lottery, it didn't work out. I guess there's still ways to do it, but it involves more money. Alexander Kazachonok. Hello. Daniel, you know, I tell myself similar things. Train watch, hi. I mean, maybe we'll wrap around. <clears throat> maybe we'll wrap around and go up the east side just so I could show you and compare the east and the west side in one stream. I mean, we've done that in the saunter before too, but you know what I mean. Ruslan, thank you. I, I am trying, but probably failing. Monetize Aubrey and kick also says I'm good with the Cyrillic. Oh, I try, I try. You are people's running styles. I, I don't know that it's as big of a deal as because everyone's bio body mechanics are a little bit different too. Uh, I think you probably have to get analyzed properly to see which way is best for you to run. But I'm not an expert there. Where's Jason Freeman? Is that DTUK? It's supposedly all those uh, sharp lateral movements that actually wear out your knees more, like, like, you know, like in tennis, basketball, soccer, those kinds of things, but what do I know? All I, all I know is DTUK is here. DTUK, one of the original reasons we ran not ran, we did the saunter around Manhattan. City Vineyard. Can they call it that if it doesn't actually grow grapes and produce wines? Or... No. What was that? According to the nightbot, it feels warmer now. Oh, this children park looks newer. They got like these sharks. Hold on a second. I mean, this this entire children park is like a zoo now too. I don't know that anybody would have fun <laughs> going here with their kids. Let me get a different view of this because I don't remember seeing this before. Maybe I have, but it usually was like not so visible because it's not being so utilized. If Subway can serve tuna, they can call it a vineyard. Ah yes, Subway. Eat fresh tuna. The legend DTUK. Anyway, kind of cool. Now, I don't know. No, I think I think that'll just be like a dead end if I walk to my right. I'll have to just circle around it. At least there's no shortage of children's parks here. There's also this one over here. So, there's that. There's folks in some sort of like six person boat out there. Can you see that? They got paddles. Is that called a kayak? Yes, the Concorde is back. Some people saw its return to the, to the Intrepid Museum the day it happened. 
Yeah. There's a lock Sean knew about it. Uncle Sam on kick says, looks nice, 81 in the KC, is that Kansas City? <laughs> Grant, hello, welcome. All right, we're going to test the service around here soon. Every slam dunk depends on you. Well, they didn't dunk, so I guess they're not dependable. We have been walking closer and closer to the Freedom Tower, One World Trade. But let's circle around and push the limits of our service. We're just missing the T-Mobile hotspot. That's the one thing. We don't yet have in our arsenal. Humongous, glad you're enjoying. I needed the Concord. I needed it. It was important to me to have and to hold. I do wish I had the opportunity to fly on the Concorde myself. Like, it would have been really cool to be able to make a day trip out of uh, flying to the UK. But yeah, I think it was expensive and potentially unsafe. Is that right? Black RS100 in Spain. Welcome, glad you're enjoying. Apple, Amazon, Google's back from Holland. Hello. Do I just keep walking the perimeter? I guess so. Well, we got better views of the uh, Statue of Liberty, too. It's also like a lot of people out, so being a crappy service area and having people crowding it up might also affect us. nervous of rollerblade without any sort of pads. <laughs> I'm a wimp. <laughs> Boeing planes have sunroofs now. All right, too soon, too soon. Oh, nothing at the wet lab this month. Oh, including that Earth Day thing? I thought Strawberry Fields also found something about the wet lab doing something. So I guess we're waiting till the summer for the wet lab to until June anyway. Anyway. Oh, they're, they're paddling now. There's four of them doing all the work. One guy is just using one arm. Showing off. You too, Daniel. You too. Look at a jersey over there. Where's Ambrose? Haven't seen him yet. Wave to us from your apartment, Ambrose. We're in, technically in Rockefeller Park right now. I don't know if we would still consider this Tribeca until we get a little more south. Oh, Ambrose shouted good morning and I missed it? Oh, you, oh you, mean, you mean actually from his apartment. No, we heard him, we heard him, I did hear him. The, the river really helped to carry across, he carried his voice. Could see the Statue of Liberty out there in Ellis Island as well. The 
Still Battery Park City this far west? Mm. Mm. I usually check like street easy for <laughs> divisions. I feel like out of all the places that has really strict subdivisions, whether they're accurate or not, street easy has been my go-to. Pedro's here, hello. I think by the, the docks up ahead or docking bays or whatever you would call those, up ahead is where the first glitches usually happen in this area for service and streams. Wooden Jedi, Luke and Olivia, hello. Heading to bed in Sweden. Welcome for your unwinding stream. From New York, from New York. UFC 300 last night, apparently pretty uh, pretty eventful on how it, uh, how things unwound, unwinded, unwound. Uh, a few good fights. I only briefly saw a few highlights this morning before baby commuter woke up. Yeah, we're gonna get to that to that section of bad service soon. I I still think we're gonna get something not good. We actually haven't had those pigeons for a long time, right? Like, unless there's been an actual problem with my setup, we haven't had the be right back pigeons unless it was my fault. So let's see what happens. Christine Taboo, welcome. Glad you're enjoying. Sometimes I do get a little bit of a hiccup as soon as we pass by these docking bays. We'll see. Bring the bell box UI up. Let's see if it's uh, actively connected right now. I haven't been on the page in a little bit. Nope, it's reconnected. Okay. Yeah, it's going. Everything is steady. You need a live view of the bell box. I have to, I have to pull up that cloud page on the um, on OBS. I could probably easily actually add that as an overlay. And then pull it up remotely with a with a WebSocket button. Maybe I will one day for the proper testing days so you could see what happens. Interesting. Interesting idea. Sean's always got the good ideas. But the only people probably interested are me and you. <laughs> and Roy, if Roy is around. Oh, they're doing more construction over here. It's not super intrusive though, so that's good. But I feel like that company, Yodok, they've got a monopoly on this stuff. Oh, there's actually a guy over there feeding the fish or something. Huh. Daniel's still up. But enjoying the weather. Oh, is that a fly on me? Hold on a second. Yeah, flick that off. Okay. All right, any glitches by the docks? Oh, docking bays over there? Pier, whatever you want to call that thing. I don't know if we get issues around here. Is this one of the areas? Or is it a little more south? I'll know as soon as I turn the corner. No, this is it, right? Like right down there, as we get as we approach the mall, the shopping area. The skating rink, I think, is gone. As it should be, it's warm. So starting here is the danger zone. Let's see. So bear with me until we get around to the other side of this little bay. If we do get a little weird in terms of service. I feel like my phone is dropping battery a little quickly today. Actually, maybe not. We have been streaming for like an hour and a half already, right? Grant is buffering, but is that local? So No, Pier 40 was behind us quite a bit.
All right, I'm nervous. Let me know what's, what's happening. I need more people chatting. Because <laughs> there could be a delay in my stream. But I don't know if that was just Grant locally or people are globally. I'm gonna I'm gonna really push the limit. I'm gonna get near the near the near the windows and I make a circle around that way. Ooh, a Costco run for taxi cab. Enjoy. Hope you find the deals you're looking for. Hans <laughs> not boys chatting. Because walks, Sean, wash it through your fingers. I know I know what you mean, right? <laughs> Get your hand up like, you know. Oh, was I close, Christine? I'm, I'm glad. I tried to pronounce as, as, as best as I could. All right, so let me, let me push the limits by standing in this area because this is where the skating rink usually is and the service can be pretty bad. So I'm pushing the limit now. This is a notorious area for crappy service, for streaming anyway. Man, I'm my pits are sweating. Did I lose any connections at all? Oh, man, shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, one of the two AT and T ones is at like 200 bits, 300 bits. But it, I don't know. I think it's actually the 4G one. So that's why I'm thinking maybe I do need to just change out that hotspot to a 5G capable one. I feel like I'm limiting myself by not having that at this point. All right, so I think we got, we probably got the, the strongest signal here. Oh, what was that? That was in my hand. Oh, never mind. I think we're all right. All right, well, who knows? We're still not, like, there's still more sections that are bad, right, Biggs Walk Sean? Also, what is that yacht? Kaizen, I think it says on the, on the, I don't know what that main part of the sale is called. It has a very specific name. I haven't been watching enough Below Deck. Park just southeast of me gets sometimes covered in tulips. Oh, like over there? Yeah, now everything's pretty evenly spread around. But still, that 4G net AT&T one is the one that that drops the most in terms of bit rate. I don't really see any flowering right now these are cherry blossoms but these are done hmm I feel so powerful with all our, all our connections <laughs> do I still need that T-Mobile one? I mean it's only 10 bucks a month I might as well round it all out right? I want to get closer to that super yacht. Strong like bull. I'm Zangief. Would his name really be pronounced Zangief? It would be like Zangief or something. I mean, I don't, I don't think I know any Russians named anything close to that anyway. Yeah, Grant, that sounds like it's local. Local issue. There's somebody walking around that yacht. Is that Ambrose's yacht? Is that how you commute between the city and Jersey? Where's Ambrose? Get in here. Let me uh, uh, scorpion you. Get over here. I mean, how much does a yacht like that go for? Five, ten bucks? I mean, I'll settle for the NYPD one. That's fine, too. But look at this thing. Gorgeous. I mean, can I, can I live on this thing? Bloody Bay. Oh, we can actually walk around this thing, if the service allows. Seven dollars on sale. Is this like a temporary dock for this thing? Is it just visiting?
who helps with the docking here if you need to bring it in? I mean, this, look like, this does not look like an easy dock either, right? I'm assuming it's got to, like, pull into that side over there and then back into it or something. I don't even know. Oh, they have their uh, dinghy or whatever that's called on top. Cool. Paul Harrison, I'm glad you're enjoying this. If I can help in any way somebody virtually traveling, I'm happy. How do they keep it from not coming backwards more? Because there's nothing like pushing the back, right? I guess it's tied up in the front, so it's not uh, it's not going to move backwards based on the side front uh, cables. All right, that was a dumb question by me. Sorry. Kaizen Yacht. The yacht's builder is Alloy Yachts from New Zealand. It's all pretty smooth, actually. Oh, and they got a hot tub on the top. Of course they do. We learned that from below deck. Twelve guests can be accommodated. Uh, seven crew can be accommodated, including the captain. It carries 36,000 liters of fuel on board. It's not for sale. That's all the information I seem to. I mean, there could be more information about it, but somebody said there's another Google search about the Chung family might own this Kaizen yacht Chung family net worth. Oh, it's just 14.8 billion. No, nothing, nothing too big. Ooh, two hundred dollars an hour. Small boat, can I even consider it a yacht? <laughs> I wouldn't mind one of those apartments. They seem to have a decent view. Al Mayer, good to see you. Yeah, Grant, I think we, we kind of have a, our usual time seems to be early mornings, but that's okay. We, we'll keep doing these other off, off time streams to hopefully get, get more folks joining us. Ancient New York structures here. <laughs> Statue of Liberty, getting a little closer. That hilly land behind it is a uh, that now it actually looks to be like a cruise ship back there right now i think yeah there's a cruise ship in front of uh, staten island that's a big boat can i zoom in on it with my camera let's see let's see what it looks like mm. all right well i got a photo of it but i don't know it'll be that easy to see but there it is Okay. Yeah, it was hard to see because I'm like pointing it directly at the sun. Sorry. Isn't there like a, um, a cruise ship tracker? Can't people look it up if they wanted to? Coyote, hello. Mercury Moments, Josh is here. It is a beautiful day. It was just about, it was a little bit concerning there for a little bit <laughs> where the rain came back. Kind of felt like yesterday, but no, it, it, it fixed itself. Stephanie Stearns, good to see you as well. 
yeah, I f that's why I like having streams at times that we don't normally have our commutes when I can. That way we can say hi to friends that aren't able to join the commuting streams and maybe find some new friends. I'm trying to pull post more and more like shorter highlight reels onto TikTok and that'll link out. Well, I guess you can't really link from TikTok videos, but the URL will be there to, to link out to the bigger stream. Daniel's still not sleeping, huh? <laughs> it's the Anthem of the Seas Royal Caribbean. Doesn't seem like a very big cruise ship. Anybody know where it ranks in terms of general size of ship? Disney cruises apparently don't normally leave from New York, but there was a period when Disney cruises actually did, temporarily. This place looks like it'll be nice when it fills in with the green. I should post them as YouTube shorts. You're probably right, I can just post them everywhere, right? I should. Pretty sure that area is still a dead end. I have to like, walk. Anyway, we'll see. Man, they got a Montessori school right here for the kids. Right on the water. Trilingual Montessori. Ooh, we need that. All right, we gotta move down here. Oh, but it's only English, Mandarin, and Spanish. Now, I have some other languages in mind. 4,800 passengers. How much can, this, can the icon of the seas hold? Three people? I am wearing shorts, Ron, so I'm able to do YouTube shorts. I can only do those when I'm wearing shorts. It's important. What did the Mighty Bull do with the football? He tackled it with bullish force. My oh my. Ron's YouTube short stars Instagram reels. Ah. All right, so I know that, like crossing that little bridge over there is gonna be the thing we shouldn't do because that'll just be a dead end. It's near the end of that, I think we can go up. I should probably just go up the stairs right on my left just to be safe. Yeah, mate. Well, no, I think there's stairs over there. Let me just go up the stairs here just to be extra safe. Let's rise the truck. <laughs> oh, no, I think this is also a dead end. Yeah, I think we have to keep going around. Yeah, I think we have to go around. I think. Icon is 5610. Oh, that's only... That's only a little bit more than that other ship. 4825 versus 5610. That's not a huge difference. But they're saying the Icon of the Seas is significantly bigger. I guess it also probably has a lot more room for things, right? More amenities, more restaurants, more rides and stuff. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's all construction zone over there. But we're getting closer to the Staten Island Ferry. Sam Den, hello, Lucy Wallace, hi. Ron's gonna make some rice. <laughs> Ron, what's your strategy with rice? I know some people get very anal about rinsing the water Oh, rinsing the rice with water until the water is clear and not cloudy. But I feel like that could take like 30 rinses if you really want to be anal about it. So I'll probably do a rinse like two or three times. Maybe more if I'm making sushi. I was close, Christine got it. I tried. I imagine the extra A means something and is not to be overlooked. Even though I probably still did it wrong, but it's, you know, you can only try. That's right, Daniel, the world and my butt. <laughs> oh, 7,600, not 5,600. 7,600 in the icon, yeah, that's big. So where'd the 5,600 number come from? Oh, all right. Yeah, so it's a big ship. Okay, it's a big boy. Ooh, 
but the wind is back. Man, this entire zone is under construction. Hurry up. Get her done. And I almost stepped in poopo. -poo. And a spoonful of oleo. What? Stephen Hill's enjoying, hopefully. Hopefully that's to me really interesting, interesting that you are enjoying. This is the South Battery Park Resiliency Project. I guess similar to what's going on on the East River side. Just one rinse for Ron. The amount of water. Yeah, I know about the first knuckle trick. I mean, we have one of those tiger rice cookers. We just use the lines in there and it usually works out pretty well. I guess I can cross the street here. Just walk on that side. If we want to keep this whole perimeter thing perimeterized. Oh, 5610 is if it's like double occupant, double occupancy? Oh, this is a good view of the Freedom Tower from this area. Almost missed it before I walked behind the buildings. But you don't, you don't over rinse. Okay, that's good to know. I probably overdo it then. How are the Zojirushi rice cookers? Ours is a very basic tiger. And I think we've had it for over 10 years now. And I think that's usually how it works with these things. call the Brooklyn Battery Tell anymore, do they? I mean, we do, but do they? Stephanie likes the Zoji Rushi. I guess that's the bike lane on the inside. Somebody's walking in the bike lane then. 67, we've gained like three degrees since the beginning of the stream. A little bit of people traffic here. Action Kids still Vietnam, huh? Well, in Southeast Asia, you probably should dedicate quite a bit of time to. Uh, it's a trip. Yeah, Mighty Bulls over there. I see a line to touch its balls. The bull balls. Uh, this is one of the stations I would get out to when I did have to go to Staten Island on the ferry. More. Mighty Bull is here, waiting for that. I wonder if there's any CD guys down here. There could be. Are you guys here? There are everywhere. Grant, not really. I guess I could always just put earbuds in my ears and just make it seem like I'm on the phone. But I haven't felt the need to. Stephen Hill, subscribe to the second channel, which hasn't seen any action in a little while, but thank you. I hope it does pick up. A rule of survival in here, don't look at anyone strangely. I think people just ignore it. I don't mind looking at people strangely if they're really doing something odd, but... Sometimes, yes, that whole thing with the eye contact doesn't work out. Kind of like uh, with aggressive animals, you know? But who knows? The one 
train even closer to the ferry terminal. Man, I don't know about the design of the Santa Fe on the back there. Ron? Another children's park here. It looks to be pretty big. I gotta, I gotta, as I'm exploring neighborhoods, I gotta take a look here just to see, you know, if we do end up moving. We do want to take a look at the park and, and scope it out. See how crowded it is. Yeah, it's a nice little park. Okay. All right, good to know. It's a nice little park. Thanks so much, Sean. You also taking notes? John Doe is here. Keep it anonymous. Daffodils on the way out. All right, we're getting closer to the actual east side of things. This is really, well, yeah, I read about that. Woman got fined because her kid had to take a pee. I mean, come on. Considering who and where people urinate in the city, considering it's a kid, like, give, him, give me a break. Like, does every dog pees in the street? Like, yeah. come on. Everyone also knows kids will hold it to the last possible second. Like, when a kid has to go, that's, like, that's it. There's no, there's no like warning period. You gotta go. Ah, ridiculous. I hope they, uh, based on the publicity that's gotten, I hope they uh, cancel out that ticket. Yeah, and especially for kids. Like again, at least adults can can tell. You know, I think I'm gonna have to go soon. But like I said, a kid's got to go. Even the New York Post was unwilling to defend that, that decision. Is somebody running a unicycle? No, it's just a city bike. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. This is the old uh, ferry terminal, but it looks like they built things around it. There's a, a restaurant there, I guess. I don't know what's up there, if it's another event space or something, but... I think they have other stuff going on down here now that they've repurposed this terminal. Megs walk, Sean. <laughs> Casa Cipriani, Cipriani? Did you say yes? Is this a hotel? Dave has never understood the purpose of a rice cooker. I mean, it is kind of nice to set it and forget it, I guess. Oh, and the Governor's Island Ferry comes from here. Ah, so Twitch Bustle is a five star hotel. Governor's Island Ferry. Once again, we got cars coming up, cars coming up, guys. Got cars coming up, we got one more, one more, guys. One more car coming up, guys, one more car. Yeah, Are we good, guys? Come on now. Hmm. So Cipriani, Cipriani, Cipriani. Sweets. Wow, wow, wow. Helipad, no flights today.
Like it's nice that a rice cooker will just set to warm after it's done, right? I feel like it's a nice feature. I walked into NASCAR. Are those, were those uh, cars coming in off a boat? Or just the garage? Whatever happened to the cruise ship? Did it go around? Was it leaving? Or did it come in to dock at the, uh, at one of those Brooklyn uh, ports? There's a huge boat in the distance called Grimaldi Lines. Looks like it's just a shipping container ship. Is that the best kind of a rice for like a fried rice? Leftover rice? Repoipist? <clears throat> I don't wanna wait for our lives to be over. I feel like it's still pretty nice around here in the South Street Seaport area. That's still pretty nice on the east side. Ron likes cooking it at a pot, but you have to check it constantly. Yeah, you don't want to burn like the bottom, right? Burn it to the pot. Skibbity bop. Never been to St. Louis. Ow. It's like track in the ground. I think it's actually an extension of the walkway. Ow. Burned rice is a Persian delicacy. Ah. Where are we heading? Well, now that we did a, a good part of the west side walkway in the Hudson River, let's do the east side. We'll, we'll do a proper comparison, same day. I mean, you got to deal with the FDR so much of the time on the east side. We're getting... We're getting up close and personal with it now. At least it's purple, which is supposedly calming. NYC is getting warm. I've never been to Liverpool specifically, but I have been to England. It also was like 23 years ago. All right, now we're, people are in the bike lane. So we're trying to get out of the bike lane, not be in it. True Win wants to say hi, or are you demanding a hello? Hmm. And Daniel's done finally. Time to sleep. Ron finds cooking a pot more engaging. In the, in the wise words of the internet meme. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, or something. <laughs> it's fine. Everyone's got their preferences. Ron's heli helicopter is in the uh, shop again. Series here, hello, John Burke, hi. Nightbot actually has subscribers, that's kind of funny. Oh. And all you hear is FDR noise here. East River Waterfront Esplanade. NYC ferries coming in, docking. People watching. Oh. 
the other one. It's a big city cruises cruise ship, Hornblower Infinity, it's called. Stantradamus. This is a very nice day out. I'm gonna be hungry tonight. Human feces. Are these uh, red buds? What are these? This looks like it was a cherry blossom. Industry kitchen. That looks like a nice little spot. Oh man, with the sun coming down now. Have a seat, grab a beer. Ooh. Ooh. All right, see, they, they got some nice stuff on the east side. Okay, east side, at least down here, lower Manhattan. Uh, still not bad. Can we walk around the seaport? I forgot. Daniel, you're still not sleeping. Ooh, somebody took a tumble. They seem okay. The NYC ferry boats are. That one, I don't know, some sort of tour ship, I think. There is a, uh, a green space on top here. I guess we can take a quick peek up there since we're here anyway. Since we are looking at what the east side has to offer. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Almost up the top. All right. Yes, biggest walk, Sean, yes. I mean, you still got the FDR though. And this is very light traffic, so there's that. Some sort of music and stuff going on over there. I guess we can go back now. No need to go to the, all the way to the end there. Yeah, supposedly it was painted purple, bottom of the FDR for calming. Because everyone's just so mad. There's a bunch of cars over the top of them. I guess. I think my phone did heat up a little bit. My screen's not as bright anymore. Even in direct sunlight. It doesn't feel super hot though, so I don't know. That's yeah, still visible though. Labor tree? Is that where the party's happening? Oh, there's like a flea market going on down here or something. Yeah. Looky, look what we got here. Oh, I probably have to go noise suppression for a little bit. Oh no, my thing disconnected again? Why? Hold on, 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 hold on. All right. Daniel, we'll see. But have a good night if you are. Well, let me know if the music is coming through. Wow, it gets very loud down here. Where's Ambrose Chamber Pot? Can you hear stuff?
Wow, it's a whole party down here. Can you guys hear too much of the music? Is this still like a holiday celebration or something? Well, as long as you can't make it out, hopefully YouTube can't either. Music is coming through. That's not good. Well, as long, if it's globby and all screwy, then hopefully. Anyway. Applefish NYC. We got drinks over there. Wendy, don't think it's Greek. Oh, it's mainly clothing and stuff here. I see like Malaysian cuisine. I guess we're going to find out just how good uh, noise suppression is for YouTube not being able to tag things. All right, I don't really know how to get through here. some sort of affair, primarily clothing and jewelry and some fragrances, but there are some food stands. I really don't think what they were doing at that uh, party was a, was a Greek celebration. I think it's something else going on. Somebody else can double check at that fish thing at South Street Seaport, what they're doing. I'll bulk up this stuff. I think there's stairs. Uh, I can take a hand here. Or a ramp. The music was coming through nice. That's not good. That's not good at all. We'll see if YouTube thinks the same thing. All right, I'm going to keep noise suppressed for a little longer. There's music coming from all directions. I'm not going to go to the top all the way over here, but I'll walk through and probably have to go around to get out of here. Well, I guess we might as well show the full outside as we are on the west, so we we're trying to show what the entire waterfront looks like appeared to be Hudson. ESPN has stuff here. Huh. Philip, have a good one. All right, once we get around the corner here, it could probably limit the noise suppression. All right. Do they not have a venue anymore on top of here? There also used to be a Pizzeria Uno in this building. Anybody remember that? Oh, they have billiards here? I don't have billiards here. Huh. 
Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge. You can see the Williamsburg Bridge too, actually, in the distance. Stephanie R remembers Pizzeria Uno. I know all Pizzeria Unos. Wait, this boat is properly docked here, and it's got a little walkway to the to the pier, or whatever this is. This is the Grande Sail 2. What kind of boat is this supposed to be? No, it's Grain to Sail, G-R-A-I-N. Anybody want to look it up? It's a big boat. I mean, it's a proper sailboat too. It's got sails. It's huge. Happy trails is what it said. Ooh, ESPN does have a studio in the building. Several TV shows broadcast from this location. Nice. Ron's going to try that KFC Chitza. Tell me if it's just like chicken parmesan. <laughs> Sal Ham wants me to say hello to Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Wish you were here. New York. New York. <coughs> Tin Building by Jean Georges. Oh, they actually opened this area. You used to have to go back all the way around to get out of here. Now you can actually come through this area. And what happened to the first grain to sail? Grand Sail 2 was built in Vietnam. It's a cargo sailboat. Okay. 52 meters. Still not sure. Availability and defined schedule. So you can book this thing out? I don't understand. All right, well. Here are other parts of the East River Walkway. Oh, Beggars and Wash at the Greek Parade is pretty good. Probably should have gone that way myself, shouldn't I? Oh well. That was it Carl C.'s birthday? Transatlantic Crossing is doing wine and chocolate transportation. Uh, yes, Carl C., happy birthday. Sorry, I missed that before. Oh, the water actually managed to bounce up over the side. Oh, this, this area is always getting water. You see how much rust is there? Huh. Yeah, now that we're there this far south, I don't think I'll ever make it up to the... Uh... Actually, we could probably go around here. I just don't want to get splashed. Make it up to the Greek thing. Greek Independence Day Parade. Way too far south now. Got too much equipment to be splashed. <clears throat> I remember there was a, was like a stream Roy did where he got splashed pretty good by uh, something down there by the by the bridge, Golden Gate Bridge, bridge, a uh, bridge. All right, here we go can't even get close to our beach or walk past our beach that we used to walk by. <laughs> Stephanie R. does says Roy does get splashed occasionally. Um, yeah, here's our beach. This is, a, this is a real beach, not that fake beach that they had uh, huh, built on the Hudson. This one's real. If I could see one crab 
I'd be happy, but I see nothing. Probably got eaten out by rats. Grain to sale. Uh, bike lane ends. So I guess you got to walk through here. So they got an old dedicated bike lane here. As we go under the Brooklyn Bridge now. Can't even look under the Brooklyn Bridge properly anymore. Unbelievable. Casey Neistat dropped his boosted board here in the water. Why did he drop it here? Was it like a, a Viking funeral for his boosted board or was it an accident? Justine, hello. Let's see how resilient they get here with this construction. Ziggy's back on Twitch, right in time for me talking about the rats eating everything. Now the little beach, I was hoping to find a crab. But then I said they're probably all eaten by rats. But eaten out by rats is definitely not good <coughs> English. <sighs> nope, this purple's been here for a while. They claim it's calming. Who's they? I don't know. I thought there was no bike lane here anymore. At least during the, uh, maybe they don't have it blocked off in the front, but these people are gonna have a bad time. If they're not intending to this to be used as a bike lane, it should have a lot more signage of such, I think. Now it's just a shared zone. Well, at least we're closer to the water again. Bagels and walks, bagels and walks, bagels and walks at the Green Parade. We also have some kind of street fair with food and things and all the treats from the Greeks. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I think this was not intended to be a bike lane anymore. Based on what I see up ahead, it's very significant blockage to not have bikes come in this way. But then they had that opening that misleads them. Oh well. Now, oh, between the bridges now. An area we used to end before. And again, the east side, once you get to this, this area, it's like a dead zone for a while. There's nothing. It's like even if you go in that way, there's like not there's Manhattan mini storage, but no restaurants or anything for a little while. <laughs> Though you could venture into Chinatown pretty quickly. But still, it's not, it's not like right off the, the walkway. And bathrooms, right? Bathrooms. There are a lot more bathrooms spaced out more conveniently uh, on the west side. I'm assuming there'll be a bathroom at the next pier area up ahead. And South Street Seaport, I guess, would have been our last zone of bathrooms, but the bathroom situation here seems worse. I shouldn't be passing anybody on the left, right? I should be on the right. Yeah, Almer, I mean, I agree with you, and I'm I'm a big proponent of the east side. Wish it would be better, because the east side is my side. Always has been, ever since I was in Stide Town. So I, I'd like for them to continue working on it. I just feel like there's a lot of fighting against the FDR drive for it to be super nice. And the FDR driver is just always in your face here. Hey, uh, thanks a lot. Have a good day. Running and watching. Get us into the marathon. No, I'm kidding. Uh, 
uh, Manhattan Bridge though with the trains. So you can see him and hear him already from this distance. A blue whale away. Uh, probably more. The blue whale is like 100 feet, right? Hey, we got our friend running around watching us at the same time. I like it. Yeah, sure. I, 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 I eventually understood. <laughs> eventually. Doesn't it also just feel noisier on this side? There are a lot more people fishing on this side, though. What is it about fishing on these? I, I think this is saltier water than the Hudson, right? I guess you're catching saltwater fish here? I don't know. Why are there a lot more people fishing in the East River than the Hudson? Oh. Right, I guess I've hit 20,940 steps for the day. I forgot about the bridge noise here too. I forgot about that. You get to walk under, under the bridges. Yeah, there's species yet to be discovered here, I'm sure. That's cool, Carl. All right, getting close to the underbelly of the Manhattan Bridge. Romero likes the Manhattan Bridge more than the Brooklyn from an artist's point of view? Interesting. I don't know if I see it, but I'm not a good artist. Right by one Manhattan Square, I think we are. I think that's the body of it. The cheese grater building is what everyone calls it. Oh, they have a ways to go before they build a wall here, it looks like. It seems like that's where the wall is gonna go, if I had to guess. All right, let me be careful with the, with the boinks. I completely forgot, I started putting up like, I put up this collection of stock photos like in the middle of last summer. And I randomly got an email the other day saying somebody purchased a stock photo from you. And I look on the website and, look, and it turns out I made like three bucks <laughs> randomly in the last 10 months <laughs> after posting some photos. So I'm thinking maybe I should post more stock photos that I take. Why not? Back in the 60s and 70s, East River was full of eel, huh? Interesting. Man, the East Coast Resiliency Project really... I mean, you can't even get out of here, see? It's like... You're just trapped in here now between the construction and the water. You got nowhere to go. What was the photo? It was, um... Uh, a tulip photo from the Park Avenue uh, median and it was purchased like four times and then, then the other ones were all one-offs of different things around the city but I was surprised at that tulip photo tulip it's probably on my Instagram I don't even am I even allowed to keep using that I don't even know how it works I think they just buy for pay for a license to use your photo I, but it's still your photo anyway oh yeah can't get out of here over here but again it goes into all residential area you're not going to find a place to eat Like, if they're gonna stop right there, shouldn't they have just stopped, like, to the side? And not in the middle of the bike? All of a sudden, learning how to ride a bike. That might be what it is. All right. Pass. Let's get pass. I guess. Though it is a pedal assist bike. I don't know if that's a good bike to learn how to ride on. Hey, it's still my photo! Raise my, I don't even know if I was able to set the prices. Anyway, Biggs Long Sean, probably, you, you probably have a lot more photos than me that are also better quality, so maybe that's another place you can add them if you don't already. I forget what the name of it is called. Why, why are feels? Shoot, I gotta find the photo. Stock photo. Now let's go around this. Hopefully we can. Shh, 
shut it's not shutterstock. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be hard to find, I think. Oh, it's easier to search on a computer than it is on Google Mobile Gmail, I think. I don't know. For whatever reason. Let me go back. A lot of people fishing here, see? It wasn't Pixabay. Hear more music. Oh, it's a, this is a big JBL boombox. I mean, everyone's walking around here now, I guess, because at least you're, it's a nicer little spot to walk than in between the construction. Alright, well, there's also a bunch of extra walkways from the boats that they use to narrow the walkway here. That's nice. Biggest walk around, where do these guys go? Oh no, what is this about? Can we walk through here? Can we walk through here? I don't know. I just want to walk through, right? I'm still kind of looking at my Google, on my Gmail to take a look and see. Ah, not gonna find it. I'll find it later. Dinner cruises and stuff? Nautical Empress. This one's the Majestic Princess. Looks a little shaky for a dinner cruise, unless they use those stabilizers when they get going, like the fancy yachts. Yeah, that, I remember that Van Gogh. Because it was not like the official way to pronounce his name. It's not actually Van Gogh. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh man, the sun is strong now. I'm sweating. That should liberty 60 minute, 90 minute cruise. But they don't say how much. <clears throat> Flash by press pass. Press, 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 I'm press, 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 I'm press. Ooh, look at that cruise. Everyone's on top. It's a circle line cruise, I see it on the front. Circle line liberty is the name of that ship, it says it in the front. That one over there. This music. Oh man, he's got like two boomboxes. Hold on a second. All right. I don't know if I understand the purpose though. Like, <laughs> nothing happening here. It's just him. This is not a good deal for Statue of Liberty, big as a walk Sean said. Larissa, hello. Robert Rosanelli in Phoenix, hello. All right, hopefully we can still get out over here. Yeah, it looks like we can. I think they don't want bikes to go this way. Oh, 
I don't think I have porta potties. Oh, I didn't actually check, look, look to see if there's bathrooms on the other side of this thing. But I don't know if these porta potties are for anyone's use. They seem to be open, but you know, use at your own risk kind of a thing. I think I have to go around. Oh, we might actually get a glimpse into some of the area here. I don't think we can actually walk here though, but we do get a glimpse into it. Or can we actually walk through? I don't know. Maybe we can walk a little bit, but it looks nice. Well, let's explore, I guess, since we're here. I just hope we don't like hit a dead end and have to turn around significantly. Oh, I can't figure it out. Is Daniel still here? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where we're going to end up if we go this way, but I think it's going to be a dead end. Maybe? I mean, it looks nice. Oh yeah, there's going to be the bathrooms. Okay, so they're going to have bathrooms up there. I mean, this area looks almost ready to go. When, uh, when are they going to open this? Let's go. Let's not dilly-dally here. Come on, man. All right, look at this. Hey, a little outside workout area? Where's the pull-up bar? Where's the pull-up bar? How can you have an outdoor area without a pull-up bar? A little, you have a whole workout area, but no pull-up bar. Wow, look at all the tennis courts. Huh. Okay, the basketball here is... <laughs> I wonder how many times the ball has gone into the water so far. Can can I get through over there or no? No, there's like a whole field over there. This is probably the only exit and entrance from it though. Huh. Wow. That's a tennis ball. Yeah, I don't think I can get out from there, right? That's gonna be a dead end park. Wow, we won. Anyone know if I can get out of here? The Pier 62 athletic field? How far can I go before I get stuck? Can I get out over there or no? I have a feeling I cannot. But. Wow. Grant feels like you're exploring Liberty City in GTA 4. Well, I don't know what I'm doing right now, but my feet are a little tired. I'm a little hungry. I haven't eaten since breakfast because it's the weekend. I end up eating breakfast and I skip lunch. But like uh, back there, can I go out over there? Okay, this is nice. Okay, the East Coast, the East Coast, the East Side is, is getting a little bit, getting some points back, you know, once this all reopens. This is a children's park right there. All right. No Chick Fil A sauce. Fence is not very high for an overinflated basketball. Yeah, like the wrong brick off of the rim, it'll go right into the water. Whatever happened to that outdoor, uh, over the water pool they were working on? Whatever happened to that thing? Okay, where are we? This is all very new and confusing. Yeah, patchy still. You're getting some pets, some points, but yes, the patchiness is, uh... All right, I've added some extra. Oh, it looks like we were able to get through, unless... No, 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 we're going to keep following this. I think we can actually get out. Yeah, so pick the tables. Okay. We're near Carl's birthday co-ops. Well, we're also, like, trapped. Just can't get out. That's the other thing. At least the Hudson side, there's still pretty regular points of crossing back into the city. Here, I'm just stuck. At least for now. Are they still going to have to put up a giant wall behind it, though? I assume so.
the pool will be done in 2025. Okay, one year. We'll see. All right. Oh, is that a ferry stop here? Oh man, that's gotta be the worst ferry stop right now. I guess you can get right onto that bridge though and get out of here maybe? I don't know. Wow. What have we gotten ourselves into? This thing is creaking. Looks like it's completely unmanned. Other than the people who run the boat that docks here. There's like nobody permanently stationed on there. Everything's automated, no, no booths. Just, uh, yeah. Man, I think it's creaky though. Did they make us a walk, Sean? Maybe. All right, looks like we're, we're definitely being forced into this walkway onto that bridge. <laughs> oh, wow, what am I about to walk into? Hold on a second. This thing is, <laughs> this thing is uh, rickety at best. What? And what is all this down here? What the heck is going on here, huh? Welcome to Alaska. Part of the contiguous, no, contiguous? Contiguous United States. No, continental. Contiguous is not including Alaska, sorry. I still have to learn that properly. Stupid man I am. Well. Normally we'd be able to walk all the way down there and under the Williamsburg Bridge. Seems that is not a possibility. A seedy area. Ah, interesting. All right, well, we're over the FDR now. Traffic looks like it gets worse as you look north, but hard to see with this fence. I mean, it's good to know the current condition of the East uh, East River Walk. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. They've got some work to do. It would seem. It would seem. How the heck do I get out of here now? It's like stairs going to nowhere over there. What the hell is going on? You want Chick-fil-A sauce? It could be a new neighborhood called Uwimbo. Oh boy. Someone's dag's not listening. All right, well, I think they have bathrooms here. That's good. Can I get out of here by going right? Don't trick the lights, house. Yeah, I can't get out this way. Okay, cool. Wow, this could have been a beautiful park with flowers, actually. They're all done now, but those cherry blossoms look quite nice. All right, well, I don't know if I can go right from here. I guess we're gonna find out if we can actually walk around and keep following the river.
Robert, it's uh, it's stalled. You know, I think we've come to the point where we know we still have a year left in this place. I'll keep an eye on a couple of buildings I'm interested in, including our own, and see if anything comes out. At the same time, maybe I'll communicate with the owners of the current place and see if there's any way to work things out for like an extended sale. To not involve any brokers or anything. But I have a feeling there's no interest in that. But it doesn't hurt to ask, I guess. I don't. Are we going to be able to go here and follow the FDR? Or is this going to cause some trouble? I don't know. We're going to find out. Oh, we'll be able to walk. I mean, I see cars parked here, so that's a sign, right? I and mean, if cars can get here, so can I. When I move to Long Island, doubtful. Uh, squirrel needs to not be in the street. Oh, there is a, a smell right now. Hey, it's like a nice uh, shaped Christmas tree here. If I lived right, in, right above it, I'd just decorate this one. This will be the, uh, <laughs> the tree. I think the apartments here are not too expensive considering, but I think that takes into account how far away you are from like everything. Like, let someone check out 453 FDR Drive. This is part of the East River Co-op. You can look up some apartments in the East River Cooperative group of buildings. Uh, 453 FDR Drive is one particular address. You would think they would have more accessibility for cars, though, like a big driveway or something, considering they're you know, all the way in the middle of nowhere here, but... If cats can be in the Holland Tunnel, so can I. I think it works that way. Yes, we're on Grand Street now, the beginning of Grand Street. Well, we used to walk by that little building over there. I don't know at all the traffic patterns here, so I'm just going to wait for the walk. And there it is. And there's uh, construction vehicles coming down, so... That kid's tired. Robert, what, uh, what, um, what size apartment is that? 550? I would hope it's at least a one bedroom, but I'm gonna say that's probably a studio. <laughs> Any three bedrooms? Huh? Ooh, what is this? A Rivian, right? Ron, is this your Rivian? I mean, I could live right next to the pink bridge. Willie B. garage is this or a parking lot oh this is the barbed wires are like hidden by the vines two bed one bath hundred hundred thousand square feet for 795 that's not too bad that's not too bad can I get through here yeah I mean Again, compare this to the west side. Then we got this, but you know, they're, they're working on it. They're working on it. Give them a break. Gigi's here. Hello. We're on the east side. We're under the Williamsburg Bridge. Domino Sugar. Oh, they're, they they finished the mad. The, those those uh, buildings are a building. We were wondering how tall they're going to be next to the Williamsburg Bridge. The one Domino Square condos and rentals or whatever. 
But there it is, if you want to look it up and how much apartments are there. Can I cross here safely or not? This, this weird area. I don't know, there's like no lights, no nothing. Ah, all right. Short guy's also here. Mighty Bull still listening and watching. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Uh, I think we're buying NYCHA housing now. Thirty-nine fifty for a rental at four fifty-three. Is that a one-bedroom, Mark Cartwright? I think this is a much longer walk than I thought it was going to take to... <laughs> oh well. Oh, that was a two-bed? Wow. But anytime it's a two-bedroom with a one-bathroom, I feel like it could be a tricky... A trick. It's a converted one-bedroom or something. I don't know. <laughs> I guess... Two bed, one bath can't be normal. Like, Stytown has that standard setup, but, you know. Once you, uh... Once you experience the luxury of two bathrooms, you know? It's hard to go back. But, probably gonna have to. <laughs> Realistically. Grant, glad you're enjoying. I mean, we're we're getting the full East Side tour here. You know, can we can we get back onto it at Houston Street and walk up or no? I don't know. Let me know. I feel like we can. One bedroom, two bathrooms. There are places like that. There's there's super luxury buildings that'll have like a powder room or another half bath, too. I think even like studio lofts in super luxury buildings that have stuff like that. It's wild. Like the studio itself is bigger than a three bedroom apartment. It's just all one giant space. It's wild. I think it still wouldn't be a half saunter. I mean, I've only walked 24,000 steps. If the saunter was 62, oh, you know, maybe we will get close to a half saunter. I don't know. Um, where should I try to cross to the, uh, hmm, I don't know, I don't know at all, uh, probably should try to get across first, now let me cross here first and then I can cross to the island, I just have to keep an eye on when this light's gonna change. All right, I think I can get across now. Like, I don't know if that's the little entrance over there where that lady's running. Like, if this is the way we can go? Maybe. Charlotte says two baths of muscle in a woman. I mean, I was talking to some other folks recently 
and they were like researchers working for a big institution and they had like they had five kids living in the housing available through the institution a one bedroom apartment and they were managing so you know I say all these things but everything is doable right Megas and Walks owns a few of those investment properties. Would I be willing to do the full saunter again? I mean, I'd pr if I were going to do a full saunter, I would probably want to do the official one. They claim all the tickets are sold out, but there's nothing stopping me from actually walking with the group on May 4th if I really wanted to, right, Sean? <laughs> you can't, can't stop me from walking. Cherry blossoms. I feel like I'd rather do the Great Bridges walk first. All right, this is an area where it gets a little nicer too, but again, there's very little to do in terms of like buying food or whatever. Are you gonna try to live stream it? Be in WS? <laughs> Are we gonna be sucking each other's service if we do that? I don't see that many stands along the East River. I don't really see that many. So, I don't know. No Chick-fil-A sauce? It's crazy the things that uh, go viral <laughs> sometimes. It's like it's things you would never expect. Christine, glad you enjoyed. And between now and like 14th Street, I don't think you can easily get, there might be one bridge in between to get off of here, but that's the problem with this side and the other side. You gotta cross the FDR Drive. At least the west side has traffic lights too. Ooh, Mercury Moments Josh with a $10 super chat for a nice cold one. Okay. Mercury Moment is Josh supporting us from day zero. Day dot, as somebody might say. I always like that expression, from day dot. So we thank him for his support now and always. I mean, we do have big feel. I don't think the west side... Well, no, they do have them now. They built them out, right? We saw some today. But they're kind of hidden behind the big buildings, but they're there. So I can't, I can't really say this looks bad. This is nice, a big running track around an athletic field. Where things walk, Sean? Did you decide if you're streaming the uh, Saunter or just recording things? I feel like I've been walking a lot again, so I feel like I'm uh, more than I was in, in the times that I wasn't doing more afternoon streams. So I think we're we're ready to just do it again. We get saunt. <laughs> we're waiting for the fish. You're gonna try to stream at least part of it, I see. I feel like I could do it again. I feel like I could do this and stream the whole thing. And I maybe I can add the action camera and record the whole thing in 4K, but that's gonna look really wobbly, right? All right, now I'm thinking too hard. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Nancy, Divya, hello. How many steps now? 24,700. Again, this doesn't really fully count. I probably had about 2,000 steps earlier this morning uh, when I went around with Baby Commuter. So it's a little less than our full stream. It's gonna be 100 degrees, yeah. It was really nice doing it in December. I would much rather it be super cold and I could just lose layers if I need to. I mean, layers for me isn't really much in the winter. I just wear a t-shirt and a heavier jacket, but I can at least take on and take off the gloves. They're playing kickball.
The only kickball I know is Rochambeau. Kidding. I hope that wasn't long enough to get copyright strict. And, uh, oh. You can see 59th Street Bridge from here and some of those new college science buildings over there on Roosevelt Island. In a distance, and you can see the UN a little bit on the left side. Kind of just to the center left. William Dronberger. Yeah, it started off a little sketchy, you know, with the uh, rain threats and whatnot, but as you can see, that cleared out quite nicely. We had enough of that yesterday. The world's most powerful legs. I doubt I'll go that far. My legs are built for endurance. My upper body is built for strength. <laughs> I'm a weird uh, mixture. It doesn't really work like that. I'm just, I'm just saying nonsense. She's tall. She's like my height. You can fish here. You do need a license. Actually, the license used to be free. Now I think they might have like a nominal charge, like 30 bucks for a year maybe. But there are specific guidelines in terms of how much you should eat. I think people, some people disregard those. I don't know if they have issues, but one of the rules that really struck me was no uh, female of childbearing age should eat any fish caught in the East River or any of the waters surrounding the city, apparently. This is a recommendation from uh, from, the from the city, or from the state, I don't know, somebody, some government website. I didn't really, uh, there's like, yeah, there's certain species I think you probably shouldn't eat. GPT says some stuff, but there is a specific New York City or state website that says the situation. Now, one thing that I see no indication of them fixing or adjusting or doing anything with is this, what we're about to walk through. This lemon squeezer. Happy trails for, for two gold ones, $10. Thank you, Happy Trails, for your support. I appreciate it. This will go to the beer fund. Thank you. I don't think it's salmonella in Easter. I think it's something else. It's some other toxin. And not just mercury, something else. I forget what it was. Ah, uh, 25 a year for non for residents, 50 for non-residents. It used to be free, you just have to apply. So this lemon squeezer, which is this is for bikes, for pedestrians, for scooters, for everything. This little you're supposed to dismount your bike when you go through here. But like this is not a fun area. I don't know. I don't know what they why they can't figure something else out, a walkway that you walk over and like over the FDR that becomes covered temporarily or something. Anything. Give us something over here. Andre, hello, Dimitri, salut. Hello. The Yankees are playing. Also, aren't the Knicks and Bulls playing today? How did that game go? Like everyone was supposed to dismount their bikes. No one here was supposed to ride, they're supposed to dismount. It's just too dangerous. That's not dangerous, though. <laughs> like, you can see there's barely enough room for two people to, to walk by each other here. And you got the FDR. It's just like a, such a stressful little thing. Ooh, Nixon, they went to OT and they won. That was a good, good value for the people who went to watch it in person. Nice. I'm pretty sure there's a sign right when you enter that says no bikes or dismount your bike. Let's see if it's still there if somebody vandalized it. Oh, well, it's here, but you know. So cyclists are supposed to dismount.
Yeah, I mean, it's such a narrow pathway, and you, you know, you could see bicycles like coming off balance because they have to slow down so much. They're gonna run into something, you or the the barricade, the divider. Also, that one Hyundai. They might should have just exited the FDR and not, probably not parked themselves directly there, but maybe the car's dead. I don't know. Yeah, so that's one part of the FD of the FD, of the East River walkway that needs work. Like, I don't see any work happening or any sign that they're going to do anything, but I would really like them to do something. And again, you saw this entire walk, we had no food, nothing else uh, after we got back from Houston Street onto the East River walkway. So there's, you know, and again, even if you go over there, it's all Stytown. Town. There's not much in there. You got to go a little deeper to get food. Waterside Plaza has food. I remember those days of Baby Commuter. That's how she would nap. The only guaranteed way. <sighs> Biggest walk, Sean. If I did do stream the saunter, I would need like a um, 100,000 milliamp hour battery bank just to be safe. <laughs> that really sounds like a bad idea, doesn't it? At least, I think at least 60,000 would be safe. I think that would be enough. Tyler, hello. Solar panels. Well, didn't remember that one I linked you to kind of has some solar panels and a light if it gets too dark? <laughs> it was like a little lantern. <laughs> I think it was 80 or 100,000 million. How many million powers was that one? It was, it was an anchor one. It's like it's the biggest one you can get. Anyway. Solar panel helmet. Seems safe. Oh, that was Alex Nakla running by. Good to see you. Hope your run was uh, at a good pace. And effective. And now you can have some beer. Well, I don't, don't let me encourage any bad behavior. But good seeing you. And thank you for the support. WM with a $5 super, super chat. Thanks for the long stream. Keep me entertained with a slow work from home Sunday. Oh, you're working today. Sorry to hear, but... At least you're home and you're able to watch this a little bit and it's slow and you're getting paid. So thank you for sharing some of your pay with me. I appreciate it, WM. I got my press pass, no snacks, no water. I had nothing to drink this entire stream. And I gotta pee again. Can you believe this crap? Look at this thing. I think they're, they're getting oil from the East River. This is what this is for. Yep. Nothing to do with the resiliency project. It's East River oil. No, people eat the fish from here all the time. Yeah. I think it's still blocked off by the gas station. So I, I do believe we can walk a little bit down this here and then we're gonna have to go back into the bike lane beyond the barricade. But see, these walls are, are they're gonna have like dividers that can actually close. Like with, with the way these things are going, they're probably not gonna have to use these for like 50 years. And then they're probably not even gonna work. <laughs> like one of them's just not gonna close and that's gonna be done. All from Sandy. Being scolded by GPT and Vegas Walk Sean. Horror Fields has been here the whole time. Good to see you. The Stytown Town stop. This is a more recent addition to this area. Nice that they have something. It's still very far away from anything. Like even even if you even if you get, take the ferry from and land in here. Like, unless you're going to Stytown, Town, I guess it's, you could go to the Alphabet City East Village, but I don't know. 
All right, so I think I do think I'm not going to bother trying going this way. I do think it's going to be a dead end. So we're going to go off into the side. Hydration backpacks are hard to clean. Yeah, I've seen it. Mrs. Commuter likes those camelbacks, and I've seen her go through the cleaning process. And it seems, uh, it seems like a, a hassle. <laughs> Beach bum, hello. Yeah, they got nothing here. We saw like one water fountain, I think. I think there was something, a uh, bathroom being queued up near the, where the Van Gogh, go, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, exhibit used to be, that pier. You gotta have it, you bring your own food, have a picnic. Hey boo, what is the little bit of a Hey boo, what is the little bit delirium. I don't know what this is. We're having the bird, have a good night. My toes not bad anymore. I guess unless this, I'm gonna feel tomorrow. The Selco parks a little delivery truck over here. They should just open up a stand. Let Veselka feed the East River runners and walkers and picnickers. Oh my. Biggs and Walk Sean, I wonder if like having the extra hot spot uh, on the Bella Box somehow maintains a connection established. If that, does that, if that make sense? Like always have one kind of established that might actually work to stabilize since it's mainly a downstream. I don't use it, using it for any uploading from my chat phone. It's all pulling stuff down. Anyway, I'm just making stuff up. I don't know what I'm talking about. 71 degrees, we've hit the 70s. It feels like it. All right, gas station, we're gonna check the prices. It's probably gonna be the same, 5.99 cash, 6.79 credit, I'm assuming. Bagels and walks, bagels and walks at the Great Day Parade. Yep, five nine ninety nine cash, six seventy nine credit card. That's a big discrepancy, disparity, discrepancy. Call me, call me also. Andrew Horton, fighting Nightbot. Hello. Hmm, two seconds to cross this. I mean, it's unlikely that any of these cars are actually going in here, and nothing out of nothing leaving the garage. So. I guess we're not going to be going around along the east coast t tomorrow morning. East coast, east side. If my feet work tomorrow. Step count, 26,400. Let's just keep walking to the George Washington Bridge. No, I'm kidding. Let's not do that. If I did that now without having any water or food, I'd be in so much trouble. The business commuter. 
Bjorn Clement, we usually stream our, our main scheduled streams are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, early mornings. Um, I don't think uh, these guys are supposed to be doing that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, and then we do extras when we can. Favorite part about New York? Diversity, food, and things are open at all times. I could find something open that might need at two in the morning. The one thing I'm still missing is like computer stores. <laughs> I guess the Apple store kind of counts, the one on um, Fifth Avenue in Central Park on the east side. Um, and I think Best Buy used to have like late hours till 1 a.m. I don't really do that anymore on the weekends. They used to have that. But I guess they stopped, probably. At least I don't see it publicized very frequently. Ooh, why did my phone lose connection to chat? Interesting. I'm still on my Wi Fi. Hope you guys are still hearing me. But it looks like there's been a hiccup. Let's see why. Is it open? It is open. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what's going on here. I hope the stream is still working. Let me try turning off the Wi-Fi on my... on my... Seems like it's still going. Huh. That's interesting, Bagels and Walk, Sean. Looks like I uh, somehow lost my connection on my chat phone, even though I'm still connected to the... Let's check Bellabox. Seems like it should be on. Okay, let me go turn, turn it back on, reconnect. Maybe it didn't do a proper failover. Okay, now I'm back on the Wi-Fi. Oh, it looks like it's loading weird again. I don't know. Oops. I hit it with my finger just now, sorry. Oh yeah, it keeps reconnecting and re-weird. Re so weird. What did I miss? Let me check the main YouTube thing. Still seeing here, still here, okay. All right, as long as people hear me, but looks like we're still working. All right, we're back. We're back. I mean, I guess you never lost me, but I lost you on the chat. Right by Waterside Plaza here. That's where we're walking by. time. Bella Box. You're doing good, Bella Box. Yeah, I remember during the, the saunter I streamed, there were a lot of hiccups. We, we completely crashed, actually. Um, I don't know where it was, like in the 50s or 60s? Like very early on into the stream, maybe a little more north of that. I had to restart the stream, that's why it's in two parts. But then up really far up north, around the northern tip of Manhattan, there were a lot of hiccups. I wonder if we can do it now with all our power. I guess not without a bigger battery bank. Water club. Right in front. That guy was just like a dress like a black and white cookie.
I wonder if it's any better to fish by the boat. Like, are there more fish like bottom feeding and stuff? And not that this this boat isn't actually isn't actually a boat. It's just a uh, a permanently docked thing. Yeah, even our, our gas is still cheaper than a lot of other places, even with the inflated New York prices. I guess it's just a thing, unfortunately. You could tell I'm hungry, probably, Marsh. <laughs> I haven't eaten since eight ish. So I'm ready. Slower, slowing down for our last part here, right here, the helipad where we used to end. We still sometimes do on Mondays. No, yeah, everything stays open here. That's what I like about it. What? I think it's duct taped. Midwest is 3.46 a gallon. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, maybe I'll take a seat at one of these uh at one of these little benches here for a moment. Okay. Who would bring it? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's see, do I have to raise this up a little bit? Probably. There we go. How many miles is 24,000 steps? I don't know, but I'm at 27,400 now. I guess I could check out my location history later and see what Google estimated my mileage at. Because the steps themselves might not be as accurate. Probably need GPS data to... Uh, to run it against. Because I've also supposed, I haven't yet done it, but my watch allows me to calibrate uh, what my stride length is. I can input that into the watch so it adjusts for that and actually counts the steps with that in mind. That'll probably make things more accurate. I should still do that. I guess the problem is the stride length can be longer if you're walking faster, so I have to really put my faster speed as the main one. Ambrose has made it. Yeah. Where have you been? We passed by your boat. No. Oh. Cast again into the water. has been sleepy so it is morning good morning anyway thanks everyone for joining us on this uh, Sunday afternoon 
kind of long walk. I mean, this, we've been going for a good three hours, right? Three, almost three and a half, right? What a day, what a day. I'm ready for dinner. And a couple of cold ones. But yeah, thank you, everybody. Always appreciate your support, hanging out. Super Chat, Super Stickers, PayPal, Patreon, memberships. Thank you. Subscribers, thank you. Not subscribers, thank you, too. But if you're not, and you're listening, do think about it. Thanks for the mods as well. Thanks for your thumbs, everyone's. Yeah, we are scheduled to walk tomorrow morning at a commuting pace. Uh, we'll start off in the West Village and walk back to around over here. And that should happen at around, eh, depends how fast things go, 7.45 to 8 a.m. or so. Around then, or around then, yeah. Oh, I see some jet skis in the water. Pretty far away. Oh, the Boston Marathon is tomorrow. But you said you're not running that, so we will see you here. Yes, yes. Anyway, thanks again, everyone. We will plan on seeing you tomorrow morning. So until then, have a great rest of the day. And if you're just waking up somewhere and it's going to be your evening, have a good Monday and we'll see you. Let's see if that's going to work. Oh, yeah, it's going to work. See you tomorrow.